Hey guys, welcome to the next game that I'm going to play, which is Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2004. Now this might be a kind of a surprise to some, since, well, I don't really do card games on my channel, but in all honesty, uh, one card game that I really, really used to love is Yu-Gi-Oh! and actually still do love. I don't play it anymore though, and I actually didn't collect the cards for years. Um, but the anime I still watched sometimes, and uh, I actually, back in the day when I was 15, uh, I actually played quite some Yu-Gi-Oh! against other people. Now, of course, in the uh, development of some, some, some years, you have, of course, new series, you had the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, and now you have Zexal, and I have no idea, I have uh, no knowledge of those series or those rules whatsoever. But, what I wanted to do now is to go through each Yu-Gi-Oh! World uh, tr uh, Championship games. Uh, like I said, there, uh, this is the 2004 edition. And uh, what I want to do is I want to play this and then after that go to 2005, 2006. It's kind of like the FIFA of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Each year, like a new part comes out and it uses, uses like official rules and stuff. And it has a lot of um, cards represented, so it's a lot of fun. Um, maybe not visually that uh, spectacular, but if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, I hope you will enjoy this. And I hope that in the meantime, because I only know uh, the the original Yu-Gi-Oh card rules, I hope that I will, you know, get to learn the five Ds or the Zexal uh, rules. But why I have the webcam here? Because you might be surprised by the webcam here. Is I wanted to do something new with this series. The reason why how I got the idea of doing this is last week when I went into a supermarket, they sold. This at the uh, cash register, and it is the new series here of Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal called Lord of the Tekion Galaxy. There's like a cool, cool dragon on top there. I hope you guys can, can see it because I cannot see the webcam. Uh, and what, what, what I wanted to do is each episode, uh, the beginning of each episode, I will spend about a minute opening a booster pack and showing you guys what card I have. Now keep in mind, these cards are in Japanese. Also, booster packs in Japan are different. As you can see maybe, they cost only 150 yen, which is like $1.50. There are only 5 cards in each pack, but a rare card is guaranteed. What is especially weird with this is, a rare card is guaranteed, but if you get like an ultra rare or something, that comes next to the rare card. So you will always get like a regular rare card, but if you get an ultimate rare card, you will get both a regular rare card and an ultra rare card in the same booster. So that's kind of fun. So with that, this intro is longer though than uh, the other episodes. The other episode I will just, you know, continue uh, or an opening a booster pack and see what's, uh, what's going on. And um, I will show you the rare card that I have or any new, new or fun cards that I have. So let's open the first booster pack, shall we? I always love to. Uh, I know that you can buy like booster boxes, right? In um, actually, you you can also buy them in uh, in Holland, but I, I never like that pretty much because you get so many boosters in one go. And usually, I now have like six booster packs, uh, which I actually collected over the couple like of, of the week. I bought like one every day um, to like you know record it all in, in one go, so that I have some for uh, the coming episodes, but. Uh, I like to buy like only one or two per week and then see what I get. Now, what do I get? I get the Satsu Sang Si Burak. Okay, I have no idea. But I have, look look here. I have this also that looks like it. They, they could be twins. Then I have a trap card, which doesn't save me a lot. Uh, then I have uh, BK something 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 BK Kosoku Hane Didobro. It's black though, and I think black is something new that came with 5Ds or Zexal. I don't know what a black card does. Let's see. The uh, rare card that I have is a, a trap card. What I will do with the rare card is I will look up a picture on the internet of the card and I will show it to you guys with hopefully a translated uh, meaning of the card probably by wiki so don't expect too much um, accuracy in terms of spelling or what it actually says 
So, that was the first booster pack, and enjoy the rest of the episode. Alright guys, how did you like that intro? That is going to be the intro for every episode from now on. Uh, it is going to be a lot shorter though next time, since I won't have to do it. all the explanation. will directly go to the opening of the booster. Alright, so let's select our language, which is... Will be English. Oh shit! It's Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2004! And we're gonna do a new game! I got a basic deck! Oh yeah! Let me explain uh, just a few small things before we're gonna go ahead. Um, this is not a game for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! beginners. Uh, I do expect you, if you, if you watch this, to kind of know the rules. I do have to say that it's been a long while since I actually have played a Yu-Gi-Oh! game, so I might be a little rusted uh, with all the controls in the beginning. But um, I have played this game uh, a long uh, or a lot back when I was younger, uh, so I should be uh, pretty quickly again in the uh, in the right rhythm. Now, when we go to campaign. You can see here the people that we will uh, fight against. We have Taya as our first opponent, Tristan, um, Bakura, Grandpa, and Yugimoto. Now, obviously, these are not the only characters that I will fight. But in order, for example, to unlock the next roster of characters, I have to defeat each of these characters uh, at least five times. Now, I, don't worry, I will not show you those five tries. How it will work with this series is I will show each battle um, only if I lose or if I win for the first time. The reason why I also show the battle even if I lose is to kind of keep that excitement of will I win or will I not win. Because if I only show the battles that I will win eventually, there's not really excitement because you, you already know who's going to be the winner. So, the grinding, uh, I will do on my own, off-screen time, uh, but of course, when I'm back and I have, because after every, uh, one battle, uh, you get a booster pack and you get some new cards, I will mention some, uh, notable cards that I have added to my deck. Now, let's begin, we got a basic deck, I have no idea what I'm gonna get, but, let's begin! Taya! So, she has something. Now, Taya is mostly about healing stuff. She has some nasty, uh, nasty cards, but overall she's actually pretty easy. Let me see what this does. Zombie monster equipped with this card increases attack and defense by 300. I... Well, uh, let's begin by putting Humanoid Slime, what does he look like? Let's put him in a defensive position. Uh, and end my turn. Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know, the, the rules... Oh, shit. Oh, that's alright. The, uh, the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! have already, always really um, felt attracted to me because, I don't know, there's just so many cool monsters and you can actually have really powerful monsters, wherein as actually magic, where you have some very cool looking monsters, I don't really feel like all that strong with all, you know, only one grass or something, and here you have actually, you know, monsters with 4,000 attack points where you're like, oh shit, some nasty ass shit coming, let's see. Destroys one uh, spell card on the field. If this card target is face down, flip it to face up. If the card is a spell card, it is destroyed. If not, it is returned to the face down position. The flip card is not activated. Well, let's activate that card. And I will put it on this. No, oh, it's a trap. Well, it's a healing one. That's all right. I think that heals you like thousand points or something. So she can use that when I attack and you know don't really 
Don't suffer a devastating blow. Boom! But now, yep, now she will use that. And she will gain. And I will uh, end my turn. Also, don't expect me to be like the Yu-Gi-Oh! expert. I'm not. Um, my real-life deck that I used was also pretty bad. Uh, I liked it though. The reason why it was bad is whenever I oh many bug. Whenever I got a um, a new uh, a new cool-looking monster. Hey, is it a zombie type? No oh, fiend. Uh, whenever I uh, got a new looking cool card or that I knew from the show, I wanted to put it in my deck, even if it was not a good, you know, uh, addition to my deck. If you're actually interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! and on, on um, Yu-Gi-Oh! In, on YouTube, I, I suggest you uh, subscribe to your Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. That's the name of the channel. Your Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. It's a very charismatic dude who does a lot with Yu-Gi-Oh! on a daily basis and really like in-depth stuff. I mean, he, saw, he talks about certain banned cards or which cards should be, you know, brought back in or why they are good or why they're underrated. And they sometimes talk to other Yu-Gi-Oh! players where they discuss... Um, for example, moves how to eliminate your opponent in like one move, like the beginner, beginner, or, or yeah, the first time you can do something, and it is, uh, it is pretty amazing. Very entertaining to watch. Random. The, uh, this game sometimes is a little random in terms of AI when you put a card face down, because you could see before that she went to attack position, but or, or uh, the battle phase, but did not actually attack me, and um, that is often the case when you have a monster which defense is higher than the attack. Then again, if you put a monster where which defense is lower than the opponent's attack uh, points, it will still attack when you put it in defense points, so it can actually read your defense points, so that's a little bit of cheating, but... Right, let's uh, do battle phase. Um, I won't risk it yet. Oh, that also gives you like, oh, she can summon now the other ones, yeah. Yeah, that's a dumb card. Though it's very good for sacrificing. Overall, these um, these first five characters should not be uh, really too tough. Um, oh god, what an awful sound! Shut up! Alright. That was my radiator, my bad. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, these first five characters should not be too tough. Yu-Yi is quite tough, uh, or can be quite tough with some surprises. The Grandpa, I think, actually has the Exodia cards, which he defeated me once with. But eventually there are like 23 players or something you can, you can battle. You can battle a lot of players. What does that do? You can activate this card when there are five or more monsters in your grave, okay? Add them to your hand. Without effect. It's not even that good. Maybe if you have something where you need to immediately sacrifice. from your uh, from your hand uh 
Uh, fuck it. I don't know. It, it could be... I don't know if she has a, an opponent with a strong... I think she has, like, the Lady of the Harp or something? Harp Lady thing? Oh god, what does that do again? What is that? Hold on. Uh-huh. The attack monster is equipped with this card. Damage calculation. Cancel. Treat this card. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck my life. That's actually... That's a very good card, by the way. Jesus Christ. Turn. All right. So now she will get HP back or life points back. It's a shame that I don't have like a sacrificial, a five-star beast or something. No. I guess I'm gonna flip it. Fuck it. I, I know which one I'm gonna sacrifice, though, when I have one. It's gonna be this dude, so that, that card's also gone. Well, I could've used the weak one, I guess. Whatever. Here we go. Alright, next turn should be the last one. I should have her. Nevertheless, if I get like a new card in a booster pack that I I that I remember having in my real life deck, I will um, try and put it in. Uh, yeah. Like I got the one of the strongest monsters that I had was the like Winged Weaver or something. It was this purple-haired witch angel thing? We had like 2750 attack points or something. She was a beast. Boom! Dead! I win, Kanoa wins, Kanoa wins, and so I need to beat this bitch four times again to unlock the next ones. But okay, let's see, we have here... These booster packs, this booster pack, this booster pack, five booster packs. You will also unlock other booster packs along the way. But let's begin with um, standard blue eyes. Damn it. Well, I got Umi. Attack of all C. With 200. Decreases attack though of uh, Machine and Pyro. It's kind of fun, I guess. Uh. Violet Crystal, no, that, that is fucking useless. That Umi thing is even better. This is okay, I guess. This... Nothing really worthy. Uh, I can actually add it to my deck. And I actually didn't notice when I was playing this. I didn't. I never played like in tournaments or something. I always play with friends, but... Um, there's like a 60 card limit here. Uh, in your deck. We, we, we didn't have that, we didn't have a limit, so I had like, you know, 80 or 90 cards in my deck, which was ridiculous. Um. So, how do I... 
How do I put stuff in my deck again? Uh, how do I do that again? All right, yeah, Q. Uh, why do I not have this in my deck? No, these spells pretty good. Look at this! This is sexy! I want it. 